Hey, Planet Sewers. It's Mathlete here with my Mies River Run Riverboat Station Show. Pit Sky P's comment yesterday inspired me to do this one. So this is for you. I built this in my second zoo. I really enjoyed this station show. I put it up on the workshop. So it's available there for you if you're interested in using it. So right now I'm building the boat ride. So we're gonna place the station down. You can use more than one station if you like. You can go back and hit the station and add multiple docks. I'm not doing that here as this is just for setting it up to put my station shell on it. I think the boat ride is one of the most simple transports to set up once you have a water way in. It will also, if you do auto tunneling, create its own little path. But I like how it will just hug along the shore and you can go around. And I get really lucky and I get the auto connect on the first try. Usually I have to go around and delete some stuff. So when I place this, I did update the workshop item to get rid of the extra security cameras that made it hard for me to place. So it shouldn't be as hard for you. So I'm, it looks like I raised it up in the air and took them off before I placed it because it was disrupting the shape of the grid and making it more difficult to maneuver. So I'm sinking it down, spinning it, and I'm gonna pull it over. And you can see when it is not red is where you can place it. So there is room under here, I think, for one more station deck. I can't remember how the boat deck works, if it duplicates it exactly, or if it does smaller ones. But I think there is room for two. I just placed mine kind of in the middle. I also went through and repaired some things that did not get included on that blueprint. It was missing some bottom sections. And where I had this in my original build, I did not use a doorway here, so I decided to go ahead and fix that and make sure that I have an actual door. And so I decided to put the door on the upper level so that the line goes down. If you want to move that around, you can. And I'm going to name mine Otter Stop. It's near my otter habitat in my workshop zoo. Placing my entrance and exit into the station. And first attempt at passing, I start from the bottom. I did not like how it was hanging out outside of the building over there. So I decided to not go with that approach and decided to go up a little and see how that worked. And it still went outside the building. So right now I'm just testing out the Q path, seeing where it ends up. It did not go through how I wanted it to. So I went ahead and made some connections. I'm gonna go back here and delete the original and start again by free floating one Q path right there at the door by pressing control and shift. Control keeps it from connecting. Shift allows me to move it up and down where I would like it. When you let go of shift, then you can place it in a different spot. It'll keep the level. And so now I've got the look I want. I'm not going outside of the build here. And then I see that where I put my entrance isn't gonna work. So I'm moving the entrance so that it'll connect in. And now I'm putting my Mies River Run sign back because I didn't realize it was hovering way up high the whole time. Apparently, when I set it down in the sky, um, it wasn't all grouped together, so it didn't bring the sign down with it. So I thought maybe it just wasn't a part of the blueprint. It took the picture in the thumbnail with it. Sometimes it will do that when things are close. And so I placed it down and then separated it from the group so I could slide it exactly where I wanted go back into that new group, set that down, and then I'm using advanced movement tools to get that on there. And here's where I realized, ah, oh, there it was the whole time. So I just deleted it 
and I'm going to redo the blueprint because I needed to update it anyway. Grabbing a light here, I'm going to get a spotlight, put it on there, move it around. I change the intensity of the light if it's a little too bright. Each light kind of has its own color, so different shades of gray will change how it shines on things. So sometimes I will put it to a darker gray to give it more of a natural light instead of blinding, especially with that spotlight. And then our exit here, I'm just going to throw one on and get ready for our tour here. So we have some guests walking through. I really enjoy being able to see all the way through this building. It did help when I was learning how to use transports and watching the timing and figuring out how all the different settings work. And that was one of the reasons I built this see-through and it turned out to look pretty neat. So they're all getting in line, waiting for the boat. And this is where I realize I only have one boat. I forgot to change the setting. So I just spin around, wait for that one boat to come from the other station. And I decided to turn nighttime mode on while we wait for that boat. I really like how this has a good view at night. And I like how the game also does a really good job with the sunsets and different elements and how it displays the graphics of the game. I think it's a really beautiful game. And sneak inside here. Get a good view from the inside. If you like, you could also add a floor here or flat roof of your choice to have it come straight off the grid of the station. If you click the station, there is an option to build on the grid inside that menu panel. Here comes the boat. And thank you for watching today. May the RNG odds be ever in your favor. Thank you.